Hi everybody, Laura here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of this 5,000 YouTube subscribers video hop. We're celebrating with Ardith, Kathia, and Jenny. A big, huge congratulations to those ladies. And I have a couple of fun geometric projects to share with you where I use basic shape dies to create fun geometric backgrounds. So for my die, I'm using this little square die, which is from this Perfect Shapes die set by Simon Says Stamp. And I'm gonna cut it repeatedly with all these beautiful cardstocks. The cardstocks are from Waffle Flower Crafts. They're Lines Unicorn and Lines Enchanted paper packs. I just love the colors. Can't get enough of them. Of course, you could use whatever cardstock you have. You could even use pattern paper. You could even die cut white cardstock and color them with Copic. So I do about three squares for each color. Now, here's where it gets a little crazy. I pull out the old paper trimmer and I'm gonna cut each one of these squares corner to corner. So like cutting it in half and this will turn it into a triangle. Not just any triangle. I just looked it up, so don't think I'm a smarty pants. Okay, this type of triangle is called an isosceles triangle, which I don't have an isosceles triangle die. Now what I'm doing here is taking it one step further. I'm gonna cut these triangles in half. That's why I lined it up on my grid mat to find the halfway point. And then that way I could make sure that I got that triangle cut corner to half to cut that in half. So each square basically is getting cut into quarters, right? It's gonna take a while. I took everything to the kitchen table and I sat down because I just needed to sit down to cut all the, I didn't even count. I didn't even count how many triangles. Was it monotonous? You bet your bottom dollar. Was I frustrated with myself for even thinking of such an intricate project? Absolutely. But you know what they say, all good things take time. And so this card here took some time. It's definitely not gonna be a mass producing type of a thing, but it is a fun thing to try if you like piecing little isosceles triangles back into square shapes. So I, I die cut all these smaller squares, I cover them with tape runner, and then I piece on the triangles back together into a square, but now we have an upgraded square. Look at her. So these are the pinks and the oranges. I kept them together. I'm gonna go ahead and do more squares with the blues and the greens. So we've got the warm tone squares and we've got the cool tone squares. You kinda gotta pinch them, manipulate them, slit, you know, move them around and try not to have any gaps between your triangles. Now I didn't have perfectly cut triangles, so sometimes I had a few, a few little gaps here and there, but you can't sweat the small stuff. You know what I mean? How's everybody doing? Are you hanging in there? Hanging on by a thread? It feels like things are getting better. I don't know, the sun is out, the warm, the birds are chirping, it makes it feel like things are better. I'm not sure if things are better, but still not getting out very much, just to the grocery store with the mask, of course. But um, the desserts are still flowing like milk and honey. That's what's getting us through the old chocolate chip cookies. But okay, now once I got all these squares in here together, I'm kind of playing around, deciding how I wanna do a layout. Do I wanna mix the cool and the warm tones or do I wanna keep them separate? I decided to keep them separate. So I'm gonna adhere all these squares onto a panel. Now, uh, we've been trying to get my oldest daughter, Alex, here for a month, at least maybe two months, but every time we book a flight, they get canceled. She's been staying with grandma ever since her college shut down. She's been studying, uh, she's a freshman in college studying graphic design, and she's the one who designed my YouTube video intro. She recently just designed a YouTube intro for Mindy Egan, who's another card maker. You should check out and see her YouTube intro that Alex made. So um, I think she might have a niche there for card making YouTube intros. We shall see. Uh, but I hope we can get her here. I miss her. Haven't seen her since Christmas. But with this pandemic, the flights just are not happening. So anywho, now I've got all these panels adhered together. I'm gonna pop them up on a standard size white card base. So they're a little bit smaller, but I love that thick white border around the edge. And these backgrounds are pretty busy, pretty colorful. So I think that extra white space was needed, you know, to give the eye a little rest and keep it clean. So for the sentiment, I'm using this bold hello word die by Simon Says Stamp. Of course, you could customize this, any word die that you have. I like to do it in white, keeping it clean. And I did put a little foam tape on the back to pop these up right in the center. I like to do hello cards. I feel like they can go a lot of different ways. It can be hello, 
celebration, happy birthday, or hello, thinking of you, praying for you, either way. Uh, so here's the question. Does this make you want to give this a try to play with some isosceles triangles? Or does it make you want to run for the hills? Either way, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure and check out the rest of the video hop. We have some amazing sponsors and prizes. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.